Yes, my name Cooks. I'm Danica. I am a New Hulk artist, carver, painter, drawer, learner. Um, and I am a beginner in the language, so I know next to nothing really. Um, I do try my best to learn. I work at Exalta School here in Bella Coola, BC. And so I help teach our program amongst many artists that are in our school. Um, I do mainly kindergarten to grade seven, so I'm with the younger kids a lot. So I get to um, partake a lot in their language classes because we want our curriculum to be cross cross curricular. So we involve arts and language and science and all of that fun stuff all together, so that the kids really learn a lot from all aspects and they really know who they are and they're really rooted in where they come from and even if we have students who aren't part of our community they learn about their environment where they are where they're living um, we have traditional foods we have mass dance and song we have language we do lots of medicine and this year's a really big year for our school we have our potlatch so every other year at our school the students host a potlatch and we have lots of visitors from all over that come and partake and spectate and so the kids dance their masks and they do giveaways and they help prepare the food um, and it's probably this is my second potlatch that I'll be working at at the school I did my high school years in Exalco school so I did partake in a few of the potlatches um, so I have a big big passion to help the kids get through it um, but one thing I really struggle with is New Hulk sounds. So the sounds are probably one of the hardest because they use parts of your mouth that you don't usually use when you speak New Hulk. There's a lot of popping and it's really far back in your throat. So um, it's okay to mess up. And you know, you just gotta give her in the only way you're gonna learn is if you mess up and I'm always one for, you know, taking one for the team. So, let's get to it. So this, I made flashcards. I learn really well when I have flashcards. Um, so this alphabet, I am taking from my flashcards by Sincaicula, so it is Clyde Talio. He was one of my language teachers when I was in high school um, and he's done so much work um, revitalizing our language. And um, don't worry if you're not, like in Bella Cooley, even if you're not New Hulk, um, there's always firstvoices.com. They are really great. They have lots of recordings, games, songs, phrases, stories, and on here they have the alphabet. And so our alphabet starts, well, I guess it's our sound, so it's ah. So I have it here and I'm going to play it. Ah. Ah. Askayach. So Askayach is a totem pole. So, aska, to be outside. Ash is what you do with your legs. So, a totem pole is outside standing. So, our words aren't easily translatable to English um, because they have a far more in depth meaning, um, which makes it harder to learn, but you know, baby steps, baby steps. Next is. Sha. Sha. So, the C makes. So, it's like a cat hissing. Hnas. So Hnas is woman or wife. The C is pronounced like a cat hissing. Sounds are arranged to move from the front of our mouth to the back. So I have little like cheat sheets on the back. Um, I forget where I got this. I think it's online. Um, next we have s or Hwa. 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 Hanish. That one's kind of hard for me to know. That one is deer. Um, pronounced like a C sound with rounded lips. It's like the east wind moving through a window or a woman in labor. So this is one sound that is made up of two letters. And so our language was written by Hank Nader. And Hank Nader has been working in our community for like... I don't want to say how long because I don't remember, but he's been here a very long time. He worked with my grandmother. He worked with lots of elders in our community who are no longer here. Um, and it's really great that he's come back and he's still working with us and he knows a lot of languages. So next sound is 
Ha. 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 Ooh. Caterpillar. People often joke that your eyebrows are your hot oohs. You know, you gotta keep them tame. So, ha. Pronounced just like in English, but we add an A to help the other sounds. So, a lot of our sounds, even though it is one, one letter, we often add the A at the end. So, the next sound is E. E. E milk. So, E milk is just man. On like woman, it can be also wife, but this is just a man, not a husband. So... I, the I letters, pronounced like E. Next we have K. This is where it starts to get a little bit tricky. K. 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 So this is Gusu. Gusu. This is pig. Um, so we didn't always have pig. So this was a word that came after the white man. Um, so it's pronounced like a G if followed by a vowel. Next we have the KW. Qua. Qua. Quaquas, which is a spotted owl. Voices of our ancestors bring the death call if offended. Don't bother or talk to it. And they die after saying your name. So, like many other nations, um, we are very, I'm very skeptical myself of owls. I don't, don't like seeing them. I'll just, it's, it's bad. Bad luck. Something always usually bad happens once we see the owl or, yeah, bad juju. Stay away. Next is the K apostrophe. So the apostrophe is a popping. A. A. Kina. So this is a Dungeness crab. So the K apostrophe is pop. So this is actually the same word in Belba. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Um, yet again, just trying here, doing my best. This is K W apostrophe. A. A. Uh, so it, you're gonna pop that sound. So this is suk, suk, tu. That one's hard for me. I gotta work on that one. Oh, that one's why. This is a mound line. So I don't usually use that word a lot. So yeah, when you get a W followed by any of the letters, you round your lips. So <coughs> next, la, la. Lacked. So this is a squirrel. So squirrels are the hardest workers and they're always ready for winter. And right now it is winter. And my goodness, I just bought a new house and there's so much fruit, trees, and berries that I'm gonna have to be so busy, like a squirrel, to be ready for next winter. Next sound is the LH. Sha. Sha. So this sound is common up and down the coast. Sha. So it's kind of you're pushing your tongue on the top of your your mouth there at the back and you're blowing out the sides. Shall ya? So that is a copper. So yeah, you so this is a copper shield, not the copper color. There's lots of um, variations for what copper is. Um, and so this is the copper shield. The shape. Next we have ma. Ma. Mama you. Mama you is a butterfly. And the M sound is just, just like English. Next sound is na. Nun. Na. So nun is a grizzly bear. And this is also the same word in Bella Bella. Little fun facts, you know, on the back of my you know, cheat sheets. I just found these while I was unpacking. And I was like, you know what? Let's make a video. So I made an Instagram post. If I should take a nap or make a vlog, and you know, here I am, because y'all voted I need to make a vlog. Next is the P, the P sound. Pa. Pa. This one's very tricky. Uh, it's got two sounds, um, and I don't often know how to differentiate yet which sound is when, but this one is ba bink. Ba bink. So it's got two sounds. One is a soft P and one is a B sound. So ba or pa. Tricky, tricky, tricky. And again, so we have this apostrophe here. Ah. Ah. We. We. So this is halibut. Next is Q. This is where it starts to get fun. Ka. Ka. You really gotta like dig 
dig far back in there and you gotta like feel a little bit of a tickle because you're going in more to where you don't often use these muscles when you're speaking English. So let's hear that again because I struggle. Ah. 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 So this is a rabbit. Rabbit. So the Q W. Qua. Qua. See, I can't. I need. I need to drink some like really good, you know, thick juice or something. I need to wet my palate to get those sounds. My mom said that she would eat peanut butter so that she could say these sounds. So let's hear it again. Qua. 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 So quauch is a sound that Raven makes, and that's how he got his name. So these, a lot of our sounds are formed in our environment. Um, so again, quauch, quauch is the sound that Raven makes, and that's how he got his name. So Q apostrophe. Ah. Ooh. Ah. 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 Ni. Ooh, that one's hard. Or a river otter. Gotta work on that one. My goodness. Q U apostrophe. Uh. Oh, there's my laundry. Leet. Quilet. Leet. What is this? Oh, a seagull. Hard working and humble about your work. You don't need to brag. So we have a really good story about a seagull that I learned probably last year. It's pretty great. Next is S. So it's sa. Sa. Skma. Skma is probably one of my most favorite meats. This is moose. So skma, moose. T, gonna be ta. Ta. Hin Hinchni. This is a great horned owl. Here again, another owl. I don't know what kind of owl it is. I'm not a fan of it. I know it's just the one certain owl that's the bad juju, but it might stay clear because they can turn their heads all the way around. It freaks me out. T apostrophe. Ah. Ah. So you have like that popping with that apostrophe. You gotta make a pop. Ah. Tikala. Tikala. This is Robin. This is a children's dance. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with this word. This one's kind of easy for me. This is TS. So it's going to be Tsa. 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 Nutsaquach. Nutsaquach. It's a wolf. So this word, it's kind of funny when you literally translate it. It is literally translated to a long rectum in your bum. So tsa tsa is long. When you have new in front and ah as the ending, it's referring to your bum or the lower of your back. And so your butthole, so it's a long rectum. Kma, so the K-M-A, kma is to hurt. Nukmayah is butthole hurts inside. Kmayah is bum hurts. So nutsukwah is a long, like a long rectum. Um, and that's our word for wolf. Fun facts, you know. So T S apostrophe, so you're gonna have that popping sound. Ah. 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 So this says eagle. This one I struggle with because it's got some hard sounds in it. Ilked, 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 and then oh, this is a bald eagle. So there's two different types of eagles. Gotta remember that. T L apostrophe. Ah. So it's kind of like a click, you know, like how you'd call a horse, but you're you're pushing the air instead of sucking it in. Ugh. Black and black, black and black and 
It's snail. That one's really hard. I really gotta work on that. So T out. Put your tongue on the roof of your mouth, click it downwards, and shoot the arrow without letting your tongue leave the roof of your mouth. Like how someone calls their horses. I'm surprised I remember that. You a letter. Ooh. 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 This one is hard. This is swan. I actually don't really know how to say this. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, so when we have the two used together, it's actually like a drag sound. Um, still learning those. That is swan. W is going to be wa. Wa. What? 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 So this is dog. X. So this is fun. Ha. 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 Uh, huck is goose. X W. You hear my dog? Qua. This is Huan Huanum. This is a hummingbird. Y is gonna be ya. 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 Ya ki. It's a mountain goat. So the Y is a half brother to the vowels. Got the same mom, different dads. Y can bridge the gap between the hard consonant sounds and the vowel sounds. They blend perfectly. Vowels can't touch their half siblings, and so another letter needs to separate them. This is what I wrote. I don't know. So the F, the seven here is the glottal stop, and instead of doing underlines or symbols or dashes, um, Hank Nader decided to use a seven. Um, there's other things we use or we could use, but this is the easiest for me to read um, because it's the visual cue that it's a pause. La. So la. So that up. Uh, and when you stop, that's your that's your seven sound. So this is s s i u s i u. So there's that pause. And this is thunder. So the double um the I guess this is a uh, vowels. So when there's two beside each other, it's just a drag sound. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, this is double I. E. E. And then two U's. O. O. And so there is a song on here on First Voices. Let's just pull it up and let's listen to. Let's hopefully listen. Let's see. Continue. This is super, 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 super easy way to learn your sound. And then with Clyde singing that alphabet for us. So, yeah. So that's one of the ways I practice is with these flashcards. So this is just the alphabet. Um, another one that I've started, I haven't really cleaned them up, is the transitive and intransitive verbs. So learning our language, there's lots of transitive and intransitive verbs, and they all change, and they all mean different things, and there's different endings for different types of things. So body parts has an ending, round things, food, all of these different things. So there's a lot to learn, um, and I often get overwhelmed. And so all I do is I just go back to the basics, you know, flashcards, you know, test your memory, just sit there, look at them, they help me. Um, and I often, I ask our, our students when we're learning, I'll get them to explain it to me. Um, Cause not only then am I learning, they're learning how to teach it to somebody. And that's probably one of the best ways to learn is to explain it to someone. Um, so, I encourage you to go on to First Voices, you know, check out your language, learn a bit of your alphabet. And if you're not, you know, from the coast or you don't have First Voices on here, you know, challenge yourself to say something in New Hulk. Um, tag me. I don't know. 
I'm not the greatest at it. I'm learning and I'd love to see you learn too. Um, always, you know, do your best. You know no one's gonna judge you for trying. Um, I'm still learning, you know. I mess up. It's all part of learning. That's life. And you know what? Maybe tomorrow I'll be a little bit better. Maybe I'll still be the same. Who knows? Peace out. Good night. I got work tomorrow because it is now January 6th, about 9 o'clock at night. So I'm at bedtime. Bring my dogs outside. It's quite cold out there. But you know, have a good night. Love, peace, and hooligan grease.